Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to hack your Skype chat history. So yeah, I was actually pretty surprised that when I went on Google and tried to um, Google for tutorials on this that there weren't any, like WTF, I thought it would have been done by now, but apparently not, yes everyone just wasn't uh, trying so hard. So I went ahead and spent those three minutes trying to figure it out, and well, I've done it. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to change uh, your Skype chat history. So uh, first thing you want to do is you want to find your um, chat history file. So what you want to do is you want to open up Explorer, put in percent sign app data, and like that, press enter, and it should bring you to your application data and bring you to roaming. And you, what you want to do is you want to go to Skype and click on your Skype username, the folder with your Skype username. You want to enter, press enter, and the file that holds all of your Skype chat history is the main.db file. So, um, as you can guess, it is a database. DB stands for database, and the databasing uh, system that they're using is SQLite. So, I downloaded an SQLite editor or browser. As you can see, this is SQLite uh, Data Browser 2.0 B1. <coughs> And you want to open up that file, main.db. Now you have access to all of the saved information for your account um, for Skype. Uh, next, you just want to scroll down here and select the messages table. Uh -huh. Okay, there we go. Sort of lags there because I had so many, uh, so much history. As you can see, there are. Um, 41,000 uh, messages that I've uh, sent on Skype and received and whatnot. Quite a bit. And yeah, that's since I've installed uh, Windows 8, so... Hmm. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your history, um, your chat history that you want to change, and there are sort of a number of ways you can search, but uh, in this case I'm just going to do it by um, getting the most recent uh, message from that person. And what you want to do is you want to take their username, so in this case, uh, Skiddly Pops. So, click this nice little search button, or you can do this through SQL. And we're going to search for the author. <clears throat> and in SQL, it'd be select um, star from whatever, you know. Anyways, moving on. I'm going to put in skiddly.pops. Click search. And it's going to be give me a bunch of records. What you want to do is you want to scroll down to the very bottom, because uh, these records are put in in sort of chronological order. They're just appended to the bottom. So and then just uh, click it, and it'll take you right to it. And then the part that you want to edit is the body XML. So the last message here is D, and it's here. So then we get to put in whatever message you want, like. Um, I love CP, come on FBI, come arrest me, yays, and then so you guys can sort of see, put in hack just for the hell of it, so apply changes, and then what you want to do is you want to close Skype, not just close the window, but quit it, this way it will force you, force Skype to reload, the, the database, and what you want to do is you want to save the database, like so, and just want to reopen Skype. <clears throat> so, logs in, blah, 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 and let's go to our history, and all of a sudden, poof! It's simple as that, and you can use uh, different search messages, like uh, you can go to the body XML, and then uh, search for whatever, some sentence, some phrase, or whatever, or you can just search for equals and whatnot. <clears throat> and uh, if you want a little bit of fun, you can even put in some HTML. I'm pretty sure you can put in HTML, um, like bold. I'm not sure about this. Uh, bold, apply changes. I'm just going to close this quickly. I'm pretty sure it accepts HTML because you can send HTML on the older versions, but I'm not 100% sure about how they actually store the data. Mm. 
Yeah, so there, you can put in images or whatever. I don't think uh, Skype does images, but you can do basic formatting if you really want to. <sighs> so yeah, uh, this is Hot New Pier, and you guys can come check out my blog at hotnew.com, and I'll see you guys later.